heavy. Bored. All right, you mentioned your first experience with Psyken. You said Tumblr, so maybe Twitter's relevant in this regard. Tumblr was your first introduction to Psyken? Yeah, this was probably in like, I, I don't know, like 2011, 2012 type thing. It was when I was in college, when I was still writing poetry, and I'm pretty sure I came across litany in which certain things are crossed out on Tumblr. And actually, it's really interesting because when I was rereading it for the pod, like just kind of reacclimating myself to the collection, um, there were so many little things that I was like, oh, this reminds me of this like shitty Tumblr poet. Obviously, that shitty Tumblr poet, like, you know, was inspired by Saiken, or even if they didn't know that they were, they were, you know, like, I feel like he was so influential during that time of kind of like the late 2000s, early 2010s, that even if you didn't know about him, and even if you hadn't read his work, you were being inspired by him. Oh, yeah. And I will, like, we talked about a little bit, we chatted about this a little bit, like, like, back and forth preparing for this, where it's like, there's an energy and Glick even mentions in the interview, I mean, in the introduction, which we'll get to, but like, there is like this kind of unstoppable energy to the collection of poems. Even when you're reading a single poems, so if you were just given like my personal favorite is little beasts, which we'll get to in this, but yeah, like litany where certain things crossed out was the like primer for, um, fuck. I wrote it down here. Of course I'm blanking on it. Primer for, uh, lost what you call it. A primer for the small weird loves. That's what it, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just like an yeah. energy to it, and you you find that like whenever you, like I don't know. I mean, it's hard to put into words why we're drawn to things like that. But like, I think the real craft of writing, particularly poetry, when you're doing condensed writing and you don't have this long form type of fiction, like the energy is everything. I mean, not everything, but it can carry you a long no. way. Yeah. I totally agree. Like reading this collection feels so different than reading most collections. Like I feel like when I read most collections, I can kind of like dip in and dip out, read a couple poems, then stop. Whereas like with this one, even though they are poems, like, yeah, you're absolutely right. It just has this energy that carries you through almost in a way that feels like a novel, even though it's not. And even though it doesn't have like a narrative arc as such, the pacing, like, I don't know, like I, like I finish it and I'm like, oh wow, I just read a whole poetry collection in like 30 minutes because it just had such good pacing. Yeah, those are my favorite. Inner. Resources, American resources. Being bored? You know, some activities are not intentional, right? It shows such a lack Heavy. of gratitude for life forward. Has you the night sweats and the day sweats, pal? Pal, I do.